Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to create animations for our JavaScript games. So animations are not required for the functionality of a game, but they do make the game look a lot nicer. So here I have my Flappy Bird game. And if you want to learn how to create Flappy Bird from scratch in JavaScript, I have a tutorial on that and I'll link it in the video description below. But for this example, I will teach you how to add animations using this Flappy Bird game. So here you can see I have Flappy Bird and if I press any button to reset the game, Flappy Bird is flying up and down and you can see the wings on Flappy Bird are not moving. So this is a static image. And so what I want to do is I want to replace this image with an animation of Flappy Bird flying up and down when it's moving. So to create an animation, we need several images and each image is basically one frame. So for my Flappy Bird flying up and down, we're going to use four images. So that's four frames. So you can see here Flappy Bird in the first frame, the wing is up and then we have this intermediate frame, which is in the middle and then it goes down and then it goes to the middle again. And then afterwards, we want to loop back to the first frame. So it goes back up. Now, if you go on the GitHub link and you download this repo, you'll find these images. And basically, we have different frames. If I click on this first one, actually, this is an animated GIF. So you can see Flappy Bird wings are going up and down. So this GIF is created using these four images. So in my code here, currently we're just using one single image and it's a PNG file. And if I actually try to replace this with a GIF file, let's see what happens. So let's refresh the page and you can see nothing changes. And that is because HTML canvas cannot render animated GIF images. So what we need to do is instead of loading one image, we're going to load four images and place them inside an array. And we're going to create an integer that will act as a pointer. So in the first frame, we'll have Flappy Bird at index zero. And then afterwards, we'll have it at index one, then two, and then three. And then if I increment one more, we would get four, right? So instead of incrementing to four, we need to circle back. So after three, it will circle back to zero. So that is the idea of animation. So I'm going to create an array and load these four images, place them inside the array, and within each frame, we're going to switch the current image for Flappy Bird. So for this tutorial, I will only be providing the animated GIF image and the separate frames for this specific Flappy Bird game. So if you're watching my other game programming tutorials, I will not have those available. But what you can do is create your own pixel art. So that's exactly what I did. I created these four images. And if you don't know how to do pixel art or you find it too difficult, then you can search for animated GIF files online. And what you can do is you can go on this website, easygif.com. You can go on any similar website. Basically, if I upload a GIF file, I can extract the individual frames. So if I upload this, you can see this is my animated GIF. And if I scroll down, I can click split to frames. And then here you can see we have our four images here. And then I can just download frames as zip and I'll have my four images over here. But you might want to be careful in that these are four separate images that are not animated, but they are still in the GIF format. So you might want to look for a GIF to PNG converter and just convert each file to a PNG file. All right, so we know that this won't work. So I'm going to comment this out and let's go back up. So over here, I'm going to comment this out and I'm going to add an array, let bird images. And we need another variable, let bird images index, and I'll set it to zero. So this is going to keep track of the current image that we're using. And then down here where I load the images, I'm going to do for let i is equal to zero, i is less than four, i plus plus, let bird image is equal to new image bird image dot source is going to be back tick dot slash flappy bird. And here I'm going to use string interpolation or injection where I do dollar sign and curly braces and I can inject the value of I so I don't have to convert it to a string and concatenate it. I can just inject it into this string and then we'll do dot PNG. And then after that, we'll do bird images dot push 
Bird image. So this is going to load the image for Flappy Bird 0, Flappy Bird 1, Flappy Bird 2, and Flappy Bird 3. So I deliberately named the images as Flappy Bird and the index number. So it makes it easier to keep track of. All right, so once I've loaded the images for our animation, I'm going to scroll to where we're drawing the Flappy Bird. So in our update function, here we have context.drawImage, bird image. So I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to comment the original one out. And instead of one bird image, I'm going to do bird images at index bird images index. And then after I draw this current frame, I'm going to increment the bird image index. So this is going to be index zero, so the first image, and then index one, two, three, and afterwards we'll have index four. Now index four would be out of range because we only have four images, so we should circle back to index zero after three. So for that, I'm going to use the remainder division or modulus, so bird images index mod equal to bird images dot length. So this is going to circle back to zero after three. So instead of zero, one, two, three, four, we're going to get zero, one, two, three, then zero, one, two, three, and then zero, one, two, three, and so on. All right, now if I refresh the page, you can see the wings on Flappy Bird are moving. So Flappy Bird is now animated and it is flying, but the wings are flapping very quickly. So this means that the animation is happening very quickly. And the reason is, our update function is going to be called 60 times per second. So 60 frames per second. So this is going to circle through all the images very quickly within our animation. Instead, we don't want the animation to be 60 frames per second. So up here where we have request animation frame and set interval for placing the pipes, I can create another function and set an interval. So here I'll just create another function called animate bird and I'll call it every 100 milliseconds. So every one tenth of a second, we will increment the index and draw the next frame of the animation. So let's scroll down here and I'm going to copy and paste this. So let's comment this out. And down here, I would just create another function called animate bird. So every one tenth of a second, we're going to call this animate bird function and increment to the next frame. All right, now if we refresh, you can see Flappy Bird is now animated, but now the wing is flapping up and down more smoothly. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you understand how animation works and you can try to apply this to other games outside of this Flappy Bird game. And if you want to learn how to add sounds and music to your game, I have a video on that and I'll link it in the video description below. But uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date for more coding tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.